Did you know that Blizzard Beach has one of the best quick service in all of the parks? In my opinion, it's absolutely fantastic. I feel like a lot of the times parks quick service can be a little tricky, but in Blizzard Beach, they absolutely crush it on this one. Let me tell you all about it here on the top 10 things to do at Blizzard Beach. Hey everyone, Dave K here, and today we're talking about the top 10 things to do at Blizzard Beach. And I gave you a little bit of a hint, one of my favorite quick service dining options. Now there are some good ones, don't get me wrong, there are some good ones, but especially at the water parks, I feel like in all the parks can be a little bit tricky to get really good quick service dining. So for me, this is one of the best quick service in a lot of the parks. Again, I wanna say like top five, I can't think through all of them right this second, but it's a really, really good one. If you've been to Avalanche, Avalanche at Blizzard Beach, surprisingly good. Really, really great hot dogs. They're absolutely fantastic. They've got a bunch of different types of flavors. I wanna say Texas chili and other options like that. We really, really enjoyed those hot dogs at Avalanche. So if you're considering things to do at Blizzard Beach and especially dining, maybe grabbing some lunch at Blizzard Beach, I really, really enjoyed Avalanche. So that's one thing for you to keep in mind at Blizzard Beach. Number two for me at Blizzard Beach is the Downhill Double Dipper. I only recently tried the Downhill Double Dipper and I feel like it was amazing. I was shocked at how awesome this ride was at Blizzard Beach. It quickly became one of my favorites at Blizzard Beach. It's kind of like a race. I had the opportunity to race Mike, but it's also a very intense ride. Not not super intense, but it's, it's what would you call it? It's it's got some big turns to it and big curves, but it's not super turbulent, if you will. I think, for example, I think mom would be comfortable on this one, but at the same time, it's got some big drops. So it's, it's kind of a nice blend of intensity and mildness, if you will. And you get a time at the end of the ride. You'll see your time and how quickly you came down the slide. Again, so you can kind of race others on that one. Even if you haven't gone with your friend on that particular day, you can keep track of your time to tell them how well you did. So when they come ride the slide, they can compare their score, their time to yours. Really, it's a fantastic ride and it's so quick. It goes by so quickly, but it is very popular and I can see why. It's such a fun one. Downhill Double Dipper is definitely one I would go back to and it really boosts Blizzard Beach for me in terms of a water park and water slides at a water park when comparing it with Typhoon Lagoon and other water parks. Number three at Blizzard Beach is the Runoff Rapids. So Runoff Rapids is very interesting in that Runoff Rapids has multiple different types of slides on the one sort of line, if you will. So you get up to the top of Runoff Rapids and there's multiple types of slides. And it seems like, at least last time we went, the enclosed slide was extremely popular. But Mike and I were like, no, we're happy to do the open air slides, you know, take that tube and ride down the open air slide. So we were able to get on that once we got to the top of the queue uh, pretty quickly. Now, I really enjoyed this one. Again, it's got a great feel to it. I haven't been on the enclosed one yet, but I really did enjoy that sort of open air slide on Runoff Rapids. So if you're looking for some great slides at Blizzard Beach, I would seriously consider uh, the Runoff Rapids, especially that open air one. And if you try the enclosed one, I'd love to hear what you think. Have you been on it? Is it intense? Do you take a tube with you? I don't think you do, but I'm not 100% sure. So let me know your thoughts on that one. Number four for me at Blizzard Beach is toboggan racers. You know I like those racing water slides, so being able to race on the toboggan racers, and this one's very similar as well, where you're gonna grab that mat and you're gonna race others down the slide, and it's got a great dynamic to it. Again, where it's, it's a short ride, and it's not too intense, but it is quite fun. Again, you've got that kind of speed going for you. You can race your friends, you can kind of see them next to you and race them down. So it's got a great dynamic to it. It's also really fun to just watch this one. So to be able to see as racers are going down, perhaps you don't love going on water slides or the more intense water slides or body mats, for example, are a little too intense for you. You don't like that sort of feel. You can always just watch your friends race down this one, maybe keep track of the time, see who's in the lead, see who wins, help people get a better gauge for that one. But overall, I really do enjoy toboggan racers. Again, I like that kind of feel where you're racing others on that mat, or you're racing others on the slide. And I think I have that one correctly where you're on that mat, uh, but it is indeed a race and it's a fun one. I really do enjoy it. Number five at Blizzard Beach. This one's a classic for me and my family. It's Team Boat Springs. I feel like this is one of the most classic family raft rides 
at the Disney water parks. It's been around for quite a while, and we used to enjoy it as a whole family. So I have really positive memories on that one, thinking back and really enjoying that raft ride. It's a nice, long family raft ride. You do feel kind of those turns as you go up the different sides. You can bank up those walls of the slide, if you will. But it's really a nice dynamic to it. Again, it was comfortable for the whole family, so it's not too intense. But at the same time, it's kind of exciting when you go up those walls, or you get a little bit wet while you're on the water slide. It's great. Again, it's great for those families and especially larger families. So comparing this one to Misadventure Falls, at least for me, I think you can fit more people far more comfortably on the Team Boat Springs. So just something to keep in mind. If you've got a large party and you all want to go on a family raft ride together, I would strongly suggest and consider the Team Boat Springs. Number six for me at Blizzard Beach is the Snowstormers. Now the Snowstormers are very cool, very interesting. There's a variety of slides there as well. And they've got these gates, actually the gates from skiing. So if you are a skier and you're familiar with what those gates look like, or if you've watched the Olympics and you've seen those skiers kind of go through those gates as they're making those turns, kind of snaking that ski course, that's a lot what this one is like. And so how it works is you'll just kind of see those gates on the side as you're going down the slide. You don't actually go through gates, or maybe you do actually. I'll have to retry that one and see if you go through any gates. But you do see some gates as you're taking off on the slide, which I feel like adds to that dynamic, right? It's Blizzard Beach is kind of like a snow, ski, snowboard kind of dynamic to it. It's got that original alligator on the skis as kind of its logo. So I think it's cool how they integrate those gates as part of the slide. And of course, the slide itself is a lot of fun too, but that's kind of the signature piece to it for me, if you will, is those gates from skiing. If you're going back and forth, if you're in the Olympics and you're snaking through those different gates, those are, are visible on that slide. Number seven at Blizzard Beach is Summit Plummet. And Summit Plummet is that very intense drop. It's a very large drop at a very steep angle. So you shoot down that water slide and that's the one that kind of connects through that slide at the very top, if you will, of Blizzard Beach. So it is an intense slide. That being said, if you're looking for some more mild slides, you may want to skip this one, but if you do want to see the intensity of the slides, you want to try this one. I feel like it's generally, at least when I've been so far, the wait hasn't been too long either, which is kind of nice. They do keep people moving through that one fairly quickly. And again, it's, it is very intense. It's got that heavy drop to it, but it's not uncomfortable. As I mentioned at one of the other slides, you don't feel your back too much scraping up against that plastic because you're at such an intense drop that you're mostly on the water and you're not really up against the plastic of the slide, if you will. So it is quite comfortable and I can enjoy that one as well. But overall, it's really fun, it's really intense. And I don't like too intense, I think. You know, there is a certain level of intensity I'm comfortable with or uncomfortable with. And that one is pretty good, I would say. It is quite intense, you know, I don't know if you wanna go on it. If you're worried about it, maybe skip that one, watch some people go on it. But it is pretty good. If, if you're not too worried about the intensity, you're like, well, I don't like crazy intense rides. I feel like you'll be comfortable on this one. I would say it's more mild than like a rock and roller coaster or a Tower of Terror. So just something to keep in mind, give you that gauge. I know those are dry park rides and this is a water park ride, but just to give you an idea, it is intense, but it's not as intense as some of those most intense Disney rides in my opinion. Number eight at Blizzard Beach is Slush Gusher. Slush Gusher is really, really interesting. It's got some really interesting kind of jumps to it. I call them jumps when in reality they're just kind of drops and it goes straight and then it drops. Then it goes straight and then it drops. And this one's kind of tricky in that it, it does. It feels like you're up in the air. It's almost like you've jumped. So I feel like depending upon how you look at the slides, it feels like it's even more intense than Summit Plummet with those little jumps, if you will. Uh, it, it's a little nerve wracking, to be honest. To, to go over those jumps. Because you, again, you feel like you're free flying in the air for a, maybe a, a couple seconds, not a couple seconds, but you know a couple milliseconds, a second, let's call it. You're like, what am I doing? And then you're back on the slide. Uh, it is an intense one. It can be very fun. So if you like those sorts of slides, you like that sort of fast speed shooting off down the slide, if you like those kind of jumps or those up and down curves to it, if you will, that's a great slide to consider as well. But overall, I do enjoy it. You know, a lot of the slides for me at those water parks are a lot of fun. I don't find any of them to be too, too intense, but if you're worried about more intense rides, it may be one to consider opting out of. Really depends on your level of preference. It is more intense compared to a lot of the other rides here. Number nine at Blizzard Beach is the Cross Country Creek, and that is the Lazy River at Blizzard Beach. Again, I touched on this at Typhoon Lagoon, but I really enjoy being able to just kind of sit back 
and relax on those lazy rivers. You kind of look up at the sun or you look around and see the nature around you. Look at some of your peers in the lazy river with you and just kind of relax and enjoy the weather, enjoy the atmosphere. This one can be really pleasant, especially on a nice sunny day. It can be a little bit tricky. I've been on these lazy rivers when it's raining and it can be a little tricky, it can be a little cold, but when it's a nice day, especially if it's hot outside, but it's nice and cool in the water or somewhere in the middle, it can be quite comfortable. Just sit back and relax on the lazy river for a while. Go around and see the different stops. And another thought about the lazy river is it can be a great way to get a gauge for different spots within the park. So if you're not sure where you want to be going next or where different attractions are that you may be interested in. The Lazy River could be a great way to see the park and it could be a great way to get you there as well. Number 10 is unique to Blizzard Beach. You won't find this at many other water parks and it is the chairlift. So you can take the chairlift to go up to those more intense slides like the Summit Plummet or that Slush Gusher at Blizzard Beach and there's a chairlift pretty readily accessible. You'll find they are quite accommodating on this one as well. So you're able to make accommodations for those who need special assistance. And it can be great in terms of finding a way to get up to some of those more intense slides and it saves you from having to take all those steps. But it's also a ride in itself in that you can look down and see some of those other slides or look down and see all the people beneath you while you're on the chairlift. It can be seen as an attraction. I could see how people might not see this one as an attraction as well, but it can be seen as an attraction. And if you really appreciate it while you're up there, if you like those slower paces, you can always just ride the chairlift and maybe walk the stairs back down or something along those lines. But it can be a very nice chairlift to ride. Now, if you don't count the chairlift as number 10, I'll give you another one, just a bonus one here. And that's those mini donuts at Blizzard Beach. Mini donuts? They really are delicious at Blizzard Beach. They've got some great mini donuts. Very popular as well. As you walk in, you'll find them not far from the entrance. I'm trying to think of how it loops around, but it'll be on your left if you're heading towards the water park, if you will, when you first walk in. So left is where you're gonna find a lot of the water attractions. You'll find the mini donuts there as well. They can be very tasty. So if you do like mini donuts, I'd say they're worth a try. Now, I don't recommend too much sugar, and they're not my number one recommended sugar, but if you do like sugar, if you're a sugar person, and you like mini donuts, they are quite good. So I'm not going to disrecommend them. They are good. I mean, if you're like, oh, well, I'm only going to eat so many sugars, I think of the water parks, it's one of the better sugars. So something to keep in mind there if you're like, well, I'm going to have one sugary item at the water parks. I think that's probably the one. I think those mini donuts are probably the one for you. What did you think of this video? Do you like to hear my top 10s? Would you like to hear more of different types of top 10s or other things I would consider or not consider? I'd love to hear more of what you want to hear more of. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today. For more fun, family-friendly adventures, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, play on.